in this lecture we will try to understand iteration i can say iteration statements iteration statements in which programming language in java programming language the iteration statements execute a block of code these iteration statements executes a block of code repeatedly a block of code repeatedly until a condition is met until a condition is met i will repeat the iteration statement execute executes a block of code repeatedly until a condition is met the various iteration statements of java programming language are while first one is while next one is do while next one is i can say for these are known as iteration statements or even one can call these as loops they are just similar to c or c++ programming language this is the iteration this iteration statements executes in a loop number of times it will execute a number of times as long as termination condition is not reached we will try to understand one by one just let me show one simple example just see this one this is a simple uh, i can say this one is simple iteration statement let me say this one is class my class name is while demo of course here i am not following naming conventions what is naming convention if there are two words in class name my first letter must begin with capital letter if i speak strictly you must write capital name like this if you follow naming conventions of course following naming convention is optional if you are not interested you need not follow but all built in classes followed naming convention just like system is a predefined class starting letter must be capital letter in similar manner this is class name in this one your first word first letter must be capital letter second word first letter must be capital letter this is convention of course here i am not following convention just say class space class name is while demo this public static void main we know the meaning of this particular public static void main string args isn't it what does it mean we already discussed int is a data type i is a variable int i means i is an integer type variable i am initializing this particular variable with zero now this is my while what is this while what it says while i less than 10 this is known as condition means this is loop this while loop otherwise as i told you this is iteration statement this particular loop will get execute repeatedly repeatedly till this condition is terminated what does it mean it is simple and straight forward let me show the output here my program name what is my program name my let me change the color yes my program name is javac my program name is while demo dot java javac means i am compiling if i compile while demo dot java how can i run by interpreter java java while demo what is the output this is my output iteration number 0 to iteration number 9 how it works it is simple and straight forward just see i equal 0 my i equal 0 means 0 less than 10 this condition is true if this is true this is known as this is known as this a, a, a block this is known as while block this a, a, a code part existed in between this open floor bracket and close floor bracket is known as block of code whose block this is while block this is also known as body of the while loop therefore this body will get execute this execute this body will get execute till this condition is satisfied this body will get terminated body means as i told you this is body a, a part of code which is existed existing in between open floor bracket and close floor bracket this particular code will get execute till this condition is terminated what happens just see i equal 0 0 less than 10 true therefore i will enter inside we know what is system dot out dot println this one is message 
iteration number iteration number this one is append i am appending iteration number what is my i value is zero therefore i am getting iteration number zero i am getting an output screen in what happens i plus plus means this i value will get incremented by one now i becomes one now again after this this is end of the loop again it will go back uh, our i value is one therefore one less than 10 it is true therefore system dot out dot print and iteration number since i equal to one one will be appended iteration number one again i plus plus now i plus plus means i will get incremented by one now i becomes two two less than ten correct therefore iteration number two this is iteration number this one is iteration number two in similar manner this will keep on executing till it reaches nine once if it reaches nine nine less than ten correct iteration number nine just see you will get iteration number nine i plus plus means now i becomes 10 now you will go back and i equal 10 10 less than 10 false as it is false this while body this will get terminated you will come here you will come out of main even you will come out of the class therefore this is the output iteration number you will get an output iteration number 0 to iteration number 9 if you see this one just if you observe this one there is another this is known as do while do while control structure the java programming language also provides a do while statement the while loop constructs a test condition before loop is executed therefore the body of the loop may not be executed at all what does it mean for example just let me this is known as actually this while is known as entry control this particular one is known as entry entry control this one is entry control what is the reason why it is entry control for example instead of i equal 0 if i say i equal to i equal to 10 or i equal to 11 if i say if i initialize with i equal to 10 10 less than 10 false while loop will get terminated means the while while before entering in its body before entering in in while body only we are checking the condition therefore this while is known as entry entry i can say how will i say that uh, this is entry control i can say as i told you it is entry control therefore the body of the loop may not be executed at all why because if i initialize with 10 this body of the loop will not get executed if the condition is not satisfied at the very first attempt this particular while loop will not get executed therefore this is known as entry control loop whereas in the case of do while loop this is known as exit control loop just if you observe carefully in the case of while loop just observe just let me show here i don't have any semicolon you must not keep semicolon otherwise it will generate an error it is against to the syntax of the java programming language in while you don't have semicolon here whereas in the case of do while just see my do while is like this in do while what is do while this do while is known as exit control loop this is exit control loop while exiting the while exiting from the loop this will test the condition for example the, therefore i can say this why do while loop will get execute at least once at least once anyway we will try to understand how it works just see this one class space class name do while whichever name you want you can give of course here i am following naming convention in do while there are two words do and while first letter of first word capital letter second uh, second word first letter is also capital letter therefore class space class name do while open flower bracket public static void main string square bracket a yeah, even if you want you can write this square bracket here also string uh, space a square bracket arg square bracket in the place of a whichever name you want you can write even if you want you can write kukat pali that's what we discussed in our previous lectures now this one int i equal zero do while loop without any checking this is that's why it is exit control loop at least once it will get executed i am going inside directly without a hesitation therefore what will it print i equal zero just let me show the output once just see this one what it says this is number what is this this is i number is message this message will be get displayed as it is my i value is zero zero will be appended to number that is number zero i plus plus now i becomes one 
while 1 less than 10 correct this condition is true again it will go back again i will display number 1 this will get displayed i plus plus previous value of i is 1 now i becomes 2 2 less than 10 as this condition is satisfied again i will go back number number plus i i am appending i what will it display number 2 in similar manner it it, it will get executed till it reaches 9 after some stage i will become 9 therefore 9 less than 10 true again i will go go back system dot out dot printer number 9 just see this number 9 will get displayed i plus plus 10 while 10 less than 10 false this do while will get terminated isn't it this is a, this is known as do while statement what is the difference between what is the difference between while and do while as i told you while is ex entry control loop whereas do while is exit control loop this is another iteration statement another loop in java programming language for loop it is a compact form of what is my for loop i can say what is for loop for loop is it is compact it is compact form it is compact form of compact form of while loop i can say it's a compact form of while loop where initialization where initialization where initialization next one termination condition termination initialization termination condition and increment or of course increment all these conditions increment is written a at a single place all these things initialization termination increment increment all these will be written at single place at single place it is a compact form this loop is repeated repeatedly executed a group of statements as long as condition is true what it says we will try to understand if we speak strictly what is the syntax of this particular for loop for i can say expression 1 semicolon expression 2 semicolon expression 3 this is the syntax of for loop i am i can write this expression 1 i can say it is initialization it is known as initialization this expression 2 is termination condition this one termination condition this expression 3 generally it is an increment condition if i say this one this is body of my for loop how it execute we will try to understand in do while and while while which which one is efficient if i compare do while and while which one is efficient while loop is more efficient if someone asks you which one is efficient while and do while there people may ask this question in do while and while which is which loop is efficient while loop is more efficient than do while loop because it gives it gives control to the programmer right from the beginning of the execution why while loop is while loop is powerful compared to do while loop is reason is so simple this particular loop gives this particular loop gives control it gives control to the programmer it it gives control to the programmer it gives control to the programmer let me say progr programmer right from the right right from the beginning right from the beginning of execution or right from starting of execution starting of execution therefore if you compare while and do while i can say i can say while is more powerful as we have got control from the beginning itself while entry itself we can restrict things of course there may be occasions where loop has to execute at least once in such case I need do while loop how where this particular conditions occur where this do while loop is required we will see in future classes time being just understand in while and do while while is more efficient of course this for loop we will make use this for loop repeatedly in our future classes as I discuss the syntax is simple and straightforward just let me say class my class name is for loop yes 
public static void name this one is body of my for loop if if you want you can keep flower brackets like this if you have only one statement in its body you need not keep flower brackets it system can understand it is just like c or c++ programming language yes anyway what it says this is known as initialization this is known as initialization this one is condition or termination condition this one is increment that's what we were discussing isn't it now i equal to 0 let me show the output once what happens i equal to 0 after initialization this is first this is second i equal 0 0 less than 10 then where will it go this is third this is third means after testing it will execute body therefore i equal 0 0 less than 10 correct turn is it's a message i equal 0 i am appending 0 therefore you are getting turn is 0 after that again i plus plus now i value becomes 1 after this 1 less than 10 correct now turn is 1 again turn is 1 again i will go back now i becomes 2 2 less than 10 turn is 2 in in similar manner it will get execute till i reaches 9 9 less than 10 correct therefore you will get turn is 9 now i plus plus i plus plus i will go back i plus plus is 10 10 less than 10 false this for loop will get terminated i will come out of this main as well as class for loop before coming out of this particular for loop this particular output will get displayed anyway we will spend lot of time we will spend lot of time on this for loop anyway let me demonstrate all these loops which are available in our java programming language which one is first one first one is i think we discussed about while loop isn't it what is that while loop let me compile javac space while demo dot java just i compiled after compiling i have to execute how will i execute just we will check just see this one yes this one uh, yes you can run like this while demo dot java that's what it says iteration number 0 to iteration number 9 isn't it that's what i have shown my in in ppt isn't it now after while then which one we have seen we have seen do while how this do while works we will try to understand yes how, how uh, what is the procedure to compile javs space do while and i must run this program how can i run this program java space do while number 0 to number 9 again what is another one that is for loop how can i execute this for loop just see it is simple and straightforward javac space for loop dot java i am compiling for loop dot java let me run this one how can i run java space for loop this is a simple lecture which explains loops in java programming language of course you can construct infinite loops you can construct we, we can understand these loops in an interview point of view or how we can understand if i remove termination condition what happens if i know if i am not initializing what happens those things we will try to understand just time being just understand basics of loops so that we can spend more time on these loops just go through it if you have any difficulty please keep a comment thank you very much